Well, good morning, and um, on behalf of the entire staff here at Las Cass Memorial Park, uh, we want you to be welcome here today. Uh, thank you for helping us pay honor to our veterans today, and it's your attendance here today that makes this event a success, and we're grateful to have you here. During this last election season, we all heard a lot about volunteering and giving back to our community. Today's event requires much of this for this program to be held. From the scouts who came earlier today and put so many flags on graves, the parents who brought them, along with the Sea Scouts, and from our, our local American Legion, and all the rest of those that have helped in preparation of today's event, help me express our thanks and appreciation to all those that have participated today. I just want to point out at this time that anyone here in attendance today, should you need any type of help, all of our staff members are here today wearing some green golf shirts. And you'll see them off in the side, and I and I encourage you, if there's anything at all, any way that we can be assistance, don't hesitate. Uh, flag one of us down, and we'll be glad to help you in any way that we can. I'd also like to remind you that there's a, um, we're having a drawing, and a lot of you I know have already filled this out. Um, if you haven't filled one, out, out at this time. We certainly have them and they'll be available in the office throughout the day today as well. Uh, in years past I've had people come up to me and ask me and joke me, well are you giving away a plot? Well this year actually the answer is yes we are. <laughs> so uh, I encourage you to, to get, get an opportunity to fill that out. In addition to that we're also going to draw four names from an individual, four individuals and at your discretion, at your choosing, we're going to have uh, placed a flower arrangement on a grave of your selection on three different occasions in the upcoming year. So again, if you haven't filled that out, you can fill out the lobby or you on your way out. The ground crew, again, has done a fantastic job on uh, making the grounds look beautiful today, but not only just for today, but every day that they're here, it's a great deal of effort that goes into keeping this, this uh, cemetery looking like this. And so we want to give them acknowledgement for all their hard work and, and doing this. Thank you. Uh, there's an, indivi an individual that I think deserves uh, our recognition today as well. He's given the responsibility year after year, tying all these pieces together, along with having to carry out his daily duty of overseeing the daily task of the cemetery. And every year he makes it look so easy. Um, and that person is Steve Albright, who, uh, who's been here for over 25 years. Uh, please join me and say thank you to him as well. Every year, this next person receives a phone call asking him if he'd be willing to MC our Memorial Day event. And as soon as the caller ID reveals where the call is made, he probably has a good idea of what he's going to be asked each and every year. Uh, this year again, graciously, he said yes, that he would, and uh, we're very grateful. You know, a lot of people will say yes when you ask them for help, for granted that they don't have to stand in front of a bunch of people and say anything. So those people can be hard to come, uh, come by. So it's with great pleasure and much thanks that I turn today's event over to Chuck Carroll. Who said I was going to say anything today? What? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's always a pleasure, really, to, um, to do these uh, ceremonies for some very special people. But we, uh, we're going to be saying hello to, uh, I'm going to ask you people to say hello to a couple of people uh, today. Uh, we have, as you can see, a few people here on the uh, platform. And uh, well, this person is going to speak a little bit later. With you. I'm to say a few more words. We have the uh, Mayor of Los Gatos, Mike Washington. Mike's already uh, introduced himself, so we'll bypass him and move over here to these lovely young ladies that I have sitting. Uh, you guys want to take advantage of this. Four beautiful ladies from the, uh, the waves. And Coast Guard, excuse me. Oh, Army? They're all here today, folks. They're all here. 
Uh, this gentleman will be giving immigration a little bit later, but we have um, uh, George Bold uh, from American Legion Post 99. He's a chaplain over there, and he'll be giving us an invocation a little bit later. George? Great to the people, George. So this way. And we have um, Mike Kotoski from the Campbell City Council. Uh, he's a city councilman uh, this year. He has been mayor a few times, Mike? A few times in the past. Mike Kotoski. And certainly not, uh, well, he is last, but he's not going to be the least that we, uh, we mentioned. Uh, actually, I, I didn't catch your name. John Otoos uh, from the Pearl Harbor uh, Survivors. And I want to make a correction on the uh, program. You know, there's always things you find on these things if you read them close enough. Um, I was reelected, so I'm no longer the past commander, but I'm the commander again of American Legion Post uh, 99 uh, over in, uh, in Campbell. But we serve the West Valley, you folks. We are celebrating a very special day uh, today. And to, to move on with that, uh, I'm going to ask uh, the, uh, the mayor of Los Gatos, Mike Watchman, to uh, give us a few words, uh, a greeting to the community. Mike? Thank you. And uh, as he just mentioned, I have a little addition to the agenda for today as well, but first I'll present what I wrote prepared. Good afternoon, my name is Mayor Mike Wasserman, and I want to welcome all of you here to the beautiful town of Los Gatos. I also want to acknowledge my wife of 29 years, Kim, that's here joining me today. It's our privilege to honor those that dedicated, served, and lost their lives to the cause of freedom. Throughout our nation's history, over 41 million Americans stood to protect our freedom with more than a million losing their lives in its name. People from across the country, in every city and town, gather annually on Memorial Day, as we are here today, to honor those who have died in service to our country. Memorial Day is a, is a day of remembrance and reflection, a day of recognition for those that have risked their lives to ensure the freedom that we, as a great nation, enjoy. We are here today not only to recognize those great heroes, but to acknowledge the loss of their hopes and dreams as they have paid the ultimate sacrifice. We must never forget these heroes. Memorial Day is also a day for us as individuals and as entire communities to reflect and recommit to the benevolent values of service, not only to our local communities, but nationally and globally as well. We